I've always had a very big interest in all aspects of computers, not just you know, using a computer, but also how they work and uh, how to make them do things and computer programming and the like. And so I remember that I used to have my dad reading me computer programming books at about the age of uh, seven or eight. If I'd had the internet back then, dad probably would have been able to relax instead of reading me computer programming books. So much of that information is available now just online. And it's actually really interesting to, to think about how much the internet has really changed my life and I suspect the lives of um, many other blind people. Now everything is available online and no one has to read me the tech, the information, no one has to braille it out for me, it's all just accessible uh, you know, whenever I want to access it. And it's one of the biggest reasons that uh, what I do is you know, so important to me. I think everyone should have that kind of access. A screen reader is software that allows blind and vision impaired people to use computers. We created a free screen reader called NVDA, which stands for Non-Visual Desktop Access. I started NVDA back in April 2006. I didn't feel it was right that blind and vision impaired people had to pay thousands of dollars for a screen reader. People have emailed us saying that they just recently gained access to computers thanks to NVDA and that before that they didn't have any access at all. In developing countries, NVDA plays a very major part. I've heard of people who have managed to create their own companies and finish university degrees all thanks to NVDA. We hear of many people using NVDA in order to get jobs. My name is Leah San Gabriel and I'm from Brisbane, Australia. I'm currently studying business at uni and I'm vision impaired. I'd really like to thank NVDA for giving their users an opportunity to participate in the world like anyone else. We are committed to keeping NVDA free for blind people everywhere. Donate today or sponsor us at www.nvaccess.org.